First of all, I hope that you guys enjoyed this shop with me session and let's see if you got it right or wrong and what I ended up picking up and made it home with me. So I am trying to be very picky again. I want to try and incorporate everything that I find at thrift stores into my actual house decor, which again, I do have a whole transformation coming up soon and I will be making that video, putting everything together for you guys so you can take a peek at how all my decor looks like. Again, I really made it a big, big goal of mine to make everything that I have in my house that's decorated thrifted and I am very excited about how it's turning out. I'm so sorry you guys as always I have my pretty little girl with me my Goldie Bella with me and I'm just checking up on her so let's go ahead and get started with this haul you guys so I instantly instantly fell in love with this bunny you guys this bunny is absolutely so adorable it's such a big piece it looks like it's made out of wood but i believe it's actually resin it's like a resin bunny or it might be actually um some type of ceramic because it does have a flaw it does have a flaw which was probably the reason why it ended up at goodwill this was a really really good price because i got it for they had two tags they ended up giving it to me for the most expensive price, which was $12.99. Their logic is, is that this tag was placed on March 23rd and the other one that was $8.99 was March 27th. So I don't know if somebody just stuck that on there, but whatever. It's still a really, really good price and it's very, very cute. I absolutely love it. And this was $12.99 and I looked up comparables. Uh, I couldn't specifically find this bunny but I did find some that are selling for almost $40, $50, $60. And it's crazy because this is such a really cute bunny. I really, really like it. And you can't really see the flaw because it's going to be facing that way. So it doesn't bother me. Um, when I have pieces, if I find pieces like that and they're a little bit cracked or something like that, stuff like that doesn't bother me. It just really depends on the person. I know some people may not be okay with that, but it doesn't bother me. I'm okay. So the next item, I have literally a box full of goodies, you guys. The next one that I have is this beautiful Best Mother Ever Ray Dunn Artisan Collection by Magenta. It has no number on the back, so it's probably an older piece. This was $2.99, you guys. And I keep finding so many pieces from this specific collection with all the flowers. And this is a really cute plate for Mother's Day, so I absolutely loved it. And I thought it was just so pretty for the price. And it looks really brand new, um, but I don't think it is because it does have a lot of scratches here. They're not very visible, but they're like very minor. So I absolutely, absolutely love this little trip dish. And let's see, I just wanna make sure it doesn't fall. Okay. Next up on the list, let's see what I grab out of here. I did grab a, quite a few goodies. And then I do have those vintage pieces that I wanna share with you guys too. But before we get to that, I found a, another salsa bowl. As you guys saw in the Shop With Me session, $2.99. It looks pretty great. Um, it just has some scratches and like rings like circle rings like inside like gray lines probably from like spoons and mixing and stuff like that so it does have some minor wear on the inside but on the outside is absolutely perfect i have two of these there's no reason why i need two and i actually have three with another one that's a brand new set that i found at a yard sale for only two dollars it was the guac and salsa bowls and so definitely one or two of these are going to end up in my shops because there is absolutely no need for me to have so many. Unless I was doing like a party. I am um, Mexican. So Mexicans are known to always have salsa. But I don't like salsa. I don't like spicy foods. I'm, yeah, very interesting. Next up, you guys, I ended up picking up the soap pump. So it does have a little bit of wear at the top of the wooden top of this and this was $3.49. I thought it was pretty good. Um, 
Oh, this still had soap in it. I couldn't believe it. I tried the pump to make sure I worked at the store and out oozing came out some freaking soap, hand soap, I guess. But I thought it was absolutely cute. It's just going to need a really good wash from the inside to get rid of all of that gunk and soap that's still inside of it. So I thought it would be a really cute piece to add to my bathroom because I don't have a soap pump that's just regular. I think I had one for Halloween or maybe not, maybe Christmas. I have no idea. I don't remember. So I did find some mugs, you guys. These are so pretty. I love these. Um, mugs because they have like that typewriter font so the first one is hello and it has a really like nice pretty red orange on the inside this was two dollars and 99 cents there is no number on the mug so it's probably an older piece i absolutely loved it it's such a pretty color not too sure if i'm gonna keep it or it's gonna head up in my stores but i did find another one in that same store that says shine it's very pretty it was two dollars and 99 cents it also has no number and then the inside it has a pretty 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 like sun yellow which i love that color it looks very pretty i might end up keeping this one because i really 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 love that one color and let's see here we go again Target always ends up in my Goodwills, you guys. So guess what I found? Yes, the tear tray pieces. I had been looking for this actually for a while now at Target and I had given up because they weren't really bringing anything anymore. So when I found this at Goodwill, I was so happy, but I was even more happy for the price I paid for. A dollar forty nine. It comes with the cute little like checkerboard um, plaid bunny. It has like this stackable carrots, like two of them, three of them, and then it has this cute little house with the bunny. It's so stinking cute, and it was only a dollar forty nine. I you cannot beat that price. At Target, it was originally three dollars. I also picked up this wood piece. Um, as you guys have seen, I'm making a lot of wood signs when I um, that I'm using um, Mod Posh transfers with black ink jet printed images. So I picked this up for only a dollar ninety nine. So I figured, you know what? It's a it's a pretty cool piece. I could use it as a sign. It already has the hanging brackets on the back, so it's ready to go. I just have to prep it and decide what I'm going to use it for because usually pieces like this are very expensive. This is originally from Michaels, but it doesn't have the original price. So I figured why not? It's definitely a lot cheaper than when you get it in the store. Now, I had been on the hunt, I said, for the bunnies that are green moss. I really, really, really wanted the ones from Target and I couldn't find them and I haven't been able to find them. But I did find one at Goodwill, you guys. But this poor bunny has been through something. So this is the bunny that I was looking for, just any bunny like this at Target. But unfortunately, it did have an accident. It actually came like this. The piece was stuck here and it didn't have a price. So they gave it to me for 99 cents. I thought, you know what? It's not a big deal. It's an easy fix. It's still intact and it can easily be placed back in with some hot glue or also using another toothpick, which I'm gonna let you guys know. If you guys have never had an accident with these or if you got in some of the stuff from the Dollar Tree, um, not Dollar Tree, the Target Dollar Spot stuff, a lot of the decor obviously is not very made, it's not made well. So this is literally a toothpick is holding the ear, which was holding it into the actual headpiece. If you guys can see, there's a toothpick right there sticking out. So it is what it is, but it's an easy, easy fix and it's still intact and it's going to look fabulous because you can't even notice that it was like it was broken. I just have to put it back together exactly how it was and you can't even tell. Well, there you kind of can, but it's because I need to like squish it a little bit down. But once it glues back, you really won't be able to see it. So I picked it up. It was only 99 cents and I wanted maybe like one or two, but one will work for now. 
if i am able to find another one then i'll pick it up at the store you guys i did not realize i really still had a lot more stuff to do i mean not stuff to do stuff to show and i don't want to make the video too long so let me speed it up a little bit so i ended up picking up the ray dunn mug from the shop with me session it's a really cute chubby mug it says yum and i love the ridges at the bottom this was only a dollar 99 and i can't tell if it's an older piece i can't really see if there is a number or not but i thought it was really cute it does have some wear in the inside but it's still in really good shape and it has a lot of life left so i decided to grab that up and let's see i always check to see that there's no cracks or anything it looks like it's fine and let's see what is next i have so much you guys so i did stop at target as you guys saw and i didn't really find anything i was looking for those green bunnies the moss ones but i did end up picking two of these and these were three dollars each um so not everything from target ends up at goodwill only some items do so i still have to go to target and find some stuff if i do want to end up you know buying some stuff from the dollar section so i picked up two of these bunnies they are so perfect and i cannot wait to put them in you guys are gonna see how i place them in and the idea that i have and then also you'll see them again when i do my easter holiday house tour which i'm very very excited to do and let's see i cannot believe i did not realize how much stuff i had picked up you guys so i found another mug this one is vintage um and it says balance it's very 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 frail frail ceramic and this is actually already cracked and i did realize that the handle was cracked and i was absolutely okay with it it was only 99 cents and i want to do this I, I bought it because i wanted to decorate it um use it for decoration i have two other ones that are different but they're part of this collection and i wanted the third one and now it says i have all the the trio so i thought you know what it's fine it's 99 cents i'm not going to use it to actually drink off of anything and it's still cute and it's going to go with my decor pieces because I have the two other ones, so now I have a third one with a different saying, of course. I also found a, another Christmas platter, you guys. I had shared one of these with you before in another haul, and it was um, Christmas as well. This one says Happy Holidays, and it has another like ginger or nutcracker soldier, I'm sorry, the nut, like a nutcracker soldier. So I thought this was really cute. It was $1.99, and it's in really good shape. It looks really, really brand new. Ooh, look at those dimples. I love it. So it was a good find for sure. This, this shopping trip was definitely like one of the best ones because I have been having like not so much luck lately. So this definitely like did it. I also found these three Easter eggs and I absolutely fell in love with them. They were $2.99 for the set. And the reason why I like them is because they are vintage inspired. I'm not too sure if they really are vintage, but I just absolutely love them. They are so pretty. You guys know that I love, love, love vintage. Here are the other two. It has these cute little chicks. They are so cute. I love the print on these. So I'm gonna find a special place for these. Here's the other one that has like a the east like an Easter bunny and it's giving, I think, um, an egg to the little chick. So I thought these were so cute. I could not, could not pass them up, you guys. Now I think I'm coming close to the end where I'm gonna show you guys my vintage finds for Ray Dunn. Quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys, I finally just ended up buying some oranges and I got them from Michaels. I got a total of four and I'm going to be using them to put into my basket, which uh, again, I wanted to do like a little homage piece to my um, county where I live in, which is Orange County, where um, we, you know, the whole county started, started as orange groves back in the day so i wanted to put some um special like like mem well not so much memory because i wasn't living in those ages but like a little special tie to everything and the you know the kind of like to be um like honoring my like the county that i live in and grew up with so i'm going to be putting these these were only a dollar you guys they were on clearance and they were a dollar so i'm like you know what i'm not gonna find anything else better than that and they were a dollar and they're a pretty pretty good size so let's 
finally get to those two vintage pieces that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, so I honestly did not, I mean, I saw one of these items and, I, and I'm and i like, okay, this has to be Ray Dunn. It has to be. So these are two ceramic planters, you guys. And let me tell you, they are crazed, crazed to the max. They are full of lines. Crazing again is the um, the lines that the glaze on the ceramics get. They're like cracks and they can be seen all over. I found these two, you guys. They are absolutely adorable. As you guys can see with the close-up, they are absolutely filled, 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 filled with all that crazing. Now, I know a lot of people, some people do like that style. They, you know, it gives it some character. So this is part of a collection that I believe was called Thrive. And it came with the, the egg nest. And then it also came with a tree. And then the third pot is a, a bird. Now, I was so like debating about whether or not these were because it does not have the Ray Dunn stamp at the bottom. So it might be that a, they usually come with a tray. It comes with a ceramic tray and then the three pots. So it might be that the ceramic tray that held the pot is the only thing that actually said Ray Dunn. So I got these for $2.99 each. I really, really wish I could have found the third one. Um, maybe the third one did not make it. I went back the next day to the same thrift store in the hopes that maybe it was, you know, put out in the shelves, but no, but maybe I'll have luck, who knows? Maybe I'll find it, maybe it's somewhere still in the back of the store. But again, this, the, these pieces are very, very, very fragile just because they are very, very full of crazy marks and there are some chips at the top of the rims. These definitely are going to be just for decor purposes because you can't really use them. I, I don't think they're pretty safe for putting plants in them again. Even the inside is full of crazy. So I just thought these were so awesome, you guys. These are reselling for crazy amounts. For one of them, it's like almost $60. I think it was around 60 or even more or maybe a little bit less. I did look them up. If I can find them, I'll go ahead and put them here on the sides. And um, it's just crazy. These are really cool though. I love when I come across a good vintage Ray Dunn piece. So these are so pretty and I'm definitely keeping them for myself. This definitely is giving me farmhouse vibes. This is giving me like spring or summer or, you know, or I guess any time, maybe any time of the year. And I could just imagine how I can decorate with these. So these are such awesome pieces. So that is the end of today's haul, you guys. I know it's a little bit lengthy. It was a lot of items and goodies that I wanted to share with you. I definitely wanted to showcase all the Easter items because I need to have those out already for my home tour. So I'm very, very excited to get that started and share that with all of you. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite item that stood out in today's video, you guys? And as always, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. Until next time, you guys, I hope this video finds you all well. Bye.